We work in this community, but we also live in this province. We're community members, we're taxpayers. Our members care about what they're doing. They're not here just because they thought it'd be a fun job. They're here because they have some passion or desire to serve. My name is Dean Gruno. I'm a sergeant in the RCMP. I'm currently posted in Wetaskiwin Detachment. So we cover three areas that we look after. So we have the urban municipality of Wetaskiwin. We have the provincial area of Wetaskiwin, or what is Wetaskiwin County, and then Camrose County. We have those three areas that we have to look at as separate sort of entities on their own, but yet all of those together are the area that we place. I think we're close to, I'm gonna say roughly 60 members, and those constables are responsible for responding to and investigating complaints as they come in in, in all of those areas. I think one of the, the sort of glaring differences is the vast landscape or the, the distance to travel. And so if our members receive a call for service sort of at the, the eastern boundary, for example, of our area, they're looking at close to an hour's drive just to get to that location. And so that adds a whole bunch of time and it also adds extra challenges in that even as simple as a traffic stop on a rural country road that's uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the member, before he even does the stop, knows that him or her are by themselves and that if something goes sideways back up, could be half an hour to an hour away. So it definitely changes the way we approach just because of the vast areas that, that we cover in a rural environment. So the crime reduction unit, although they're made up of police officers, they may look at a, a number of different things depending on what the crime stats are doing in their particular area. For example, if vehicle thefts are high during a certain period of time, we might employ some different tactics to try and combat vehicle theft. If break and enters are taking a spike for some reason, then they'll, with the help of an analyst, we'll, we'll look at the data and try and come up with a solution on what can we do to try and stop the, the run of break and enters that's occurring. Not only are we out there trying to find bad guys and catch bad guys, but we're also engaging in the community. I remember in Rocky Mountain House, uh, for example, we used to go to the co-op for coffee once in a while. You spend more time walking around and talking than you did sitting down and actually drinking the coffee. And what seemed like meaningless conversations end up being such a positive engagement throughout the community. And sometimes through those conversations, that's how you develop that information that leads further into an investigation. We will certainly do our part, but we need community members to be involved in solving these problems as well. I think those relationships are probably a little bit easier to build in, in a rural environment. And the members that work in, in that rural environment, in that rural community, get, get good at it and they get to know who's out there and, and who they can trust and who they can go to, and who they can sit and have a coffee with. And I think at the end of the day, it's our community partners that benefit from it the most.